I pray that you are well today. I pray that you had a wonderful Christmas. So the question always begs itself in these days, now what? There's somewhat of a letdown, right? All of the, all of the expectation, all of the energy, all of the focus, and now in the day after Christmas, now what? Now what? Because there's only really five days left of this year, the year 2020. Kind of like we're in between, in between these two significant days, Christmas Day and New Year's Day. Now what? Isn't that really always the question, though? Now what? What's next? What's the plan? What will happen next? And when we're in that waiting time, in the land between, some people call it, in the in-between time, I pray maybe for some of you, you had to go back to work today. I know that's true. I know for some of you, that's Monday. For some, it might not be for a week or two. For some, you are traveling. For some, you are with family. Everybody's experiencing these days just a little differently. But I want you to know, the scripture says that God's love for you is wider and higher and deeper and longer. And so it isn't just the nostalgia of Christmas. It isn't just the shared history of Christmas with our family. It isn't just the shared time together. It is also the truth of the incarnation of Jesus Christ. God, God's love for you is wider and higher and deeper and longer. Sometimes we have a lot of time to think in the land between, in the time between, and maybe Sometimes we think it's too much time to think, but can you ever think too much about how loved you are? That God's love is wider than every circumstance of your life? God's love is higher than the pile of problems that you experience and I experience? God's love is deeper than the deepest questions? And God's love is longer. God's love will outlast your life and mine. And so we're enveloped in this time between in a bubble of love. It doesn't mean that there isn't difficulties, for sure. But what it does mean is that you are accepted and cared for and known and valued and precious. That's what it means. In Ephesians chapter 3. It's a significant set of the Word of God, significant words in the Scriptures, powerful, powerful words. It says this, For this reason I kneel before the Father, from whom every family and in heaven and earth derives its name. I pray that out of his glorious riches he may strengthen you in your inner being, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ and to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled to the measure of the fullness of God. What does that mean? It means he's praying that they would grasp. I, I pray that you will grasp. I pray in this day after Christmas you will grasp In your heart, how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ for you. Not just these days will be different then, but this next year will be different as well. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he's strengthening with power through your spirit and your inner being so that you can grasp that sometimes we're so weak we can't even understand. May God give us strength to understand and grasp how great his love is for us how great his love is for you. In this day after, let it not be a let down. Let it be a grasping, understanding of the love of God for you. Please pray with me. Lord God, we pray your grace that we would grasp 
in Christmas, how wide and long and high and deep is Christ's love for us. May we be strengthened in our inner spirit for such a reality. In Jesus' name, amen. A merry day after Christmas. God bless you.